at this moment with a really interesting setup because we are using AC coupling but at the same time we are using solar panels connected to the day micro hybrid so we can see right over here that on the solar production we are with 770 or 37 more or less one panel generating 360 something and the other panel 370 something so if i go back we can see that we are generating 740 but we are putting onto the battery 800 and something why because we have another inverter working on the grid which is not here but it's measuring with the meter that we will see and we are getting the energy instead of sending it to the grid putting into the battery through the AC coupling. So besides the AC coupling that we have seen before, in the future, if you want to connect solar panels directly and take advantage of AC coupling plus the solar panels, we can do that. And this is great news. These are the solar panels that are at this moment connected directly to the day micro hybrid uh, battery and inverter. They are facing the sun which is morning uh, 40 past 10 more or less and we are generating that energy so these are the ones connected directly here i do have this inverter good we with two other solar panels and this is injecting the energy on the house grid so we are generating 640 at this moment so this energy for here for the office is more than what I'm consuming and that's why we are getting the AC coupling so instead of sending to the grid we are getting and sending to the day microinverter which is the one that is doing all the calculations and all the work so if you already have one system on your house and you add one day microinverter you will be able to have this setup as well I already know my office circuit breaker so at this moment I've got the day uh, lower communication wireless CT right over here and this one is an old one doesn't give me values in positive or negative it's a dumb uh, measurement but it shows us something curious is that the day is doing its job which is maintaining everything at zero so instead of exporting to the grid and getting really low value or no value at all we are putting everything into the battery even the energy that it's being produced by other inverters that we have on our house it doesn't matter where we have them it's just matter of placing the day wireless CT and measure so what we are achieving right now is with this wireless CT it can measure everything that is produced on every single inverter that we have on our grid pick up that energy and through AC coupling will send the energy to the day micro inverter and we can see here that it's constantly uh, measuring 20 19 and minus 18 so it's balancing so that we have at the end of the day zero consumption zero injection in a grid unless we have a lot of power and in that particular case when the battery gets full then there's no miracles we will have to sell to the grid but i'm really really excited to see this mode working not only with ac coupling but also with the solar panels that once again are connected directly right over here so we are getting 740 at this moment and 100 and something on the other inverter that's on the grid now i will be monitoring so that we can see the maximum that we can reach because this is 10 46 in the morning and towards midday we will get some more power and we will check if the limit is the 1000, 1300, which is the maximum values that I've observed in other scenarios. But this one is the first time that we are testing. So we are going to keep an eye on it, but really, really excited. At this moment, half past 12, and we are generating the maximum that these will reach. Now the other will probably get a little bit more and we are injecting from the other inverter about 400 watts and we are charging the battery with 1000 and something which is 665 from here plus 400 from the other inverter that we have on the grid so really awesome result but i know that we can get a little bit more about 1300 i'm just not really sure if my two systems will be able to achieve 
that maximum but really nice values 1000 and something coming from the solar panels plus ac coupling right over here just shut down my system and the lights so we are with the really low consumption here on the office and what we are seeing are great values so 1300 watts are putting into the battery on the micro inverter from day which is really awesome 666 from the solar panels that are connected directly here and 600 and or 700 at this moment from the ac coupling which is from the other inverter that it's on our grid so we are achieving 1312 now i was hoping to see some values that would allow us to get to the limit of the day micro hybrid and then at some point we would inject the surplus energy to the grid because we couldn't absorb more but i'm on the limit of these panels i'm also on the limit of the panels that i do have on the inverter outside which is generating this power i've reduced my consumption to almost a minimum here on the office and we still haven't reached the maximum capacity of the uh, inverter now when i press here we can see the images from the battery and we have done a full review so if you have missed that uh, it is on the channel we can see info on everything and of course we can see it on the app as well but we have a lot of data right over here injecting five watts which is really low but i'm not really sure with my systems if i will be able to max out this system which is working really really well i will be paying attention but in case that i can't have more values to go to the limit of this battery which is is already there the maximum value that i've seen so far is about 1350 and we are about there but not reaching i would need about more 200 watts so that we could see real energy to not only going to the battery but also to the grid as well but if we don't achieve that then these are great great results